Hey, I'm Mike Yancey with Pine Hollow Longbows, and you're watching Money Outdoor Adventures. in Yala Bull today, we are in a pop-up blind, and this bull comes in, but he winds me and leaves out a different direction. So we move the blind so that the wind is better, and later in the afternoon we have another encounter. And as you'll see, I do not put a very good shot on him, and it makes for an exciting day as we go from the recurve to the flintlock to get it done. I hope you enjoy this video. As you can see, I'm going to shoot right over this in Yala Bull, but he does drop, and I mean quite a little bit. Watch his body in that slow motion. Sean is trying his best on the stalk here. He's right there. And y'all, as you can tell, very open terrain it's difficult to get close enough we head back to the lodge and eat lunch and then we pick up mike yancey's flintlock and we head back out to see if we can't get this big and yellow bull finished off i think you'll like how the video ends i'm having to shoot through some brush here and i shoot this big bull right through the point of the shoulder and he just drops right there where he is it was quite an exciting moment the audio was messed up so i was unable to include it here but you'll hear some reactions after this sean you got your nyala after uh intense trad hunting experience today unbelievable uh, listen, uh, trad hunters, you guys know that we're not about seeing how far we can kill them, we're seeing about how close we can get to them. And not everybody in Africa works hard to put you close enough to have high percentage opportunities. But Louis and all of his uh, guides at Sofala Safaris do an excellent job at getting you where the animals are. Louie and I were in a pop-up blind. We actually had to move it once this morning because the wind was wrong. And this beautiful bull came in at 10 yards. Um, I, I tried something I'd never tried before. I come to full draw and then leaned out out the window and I hit him right just barely way up here high. And so we tried to put several stalks on him and I'll show you a little of that footage. 
but was unsuccessful. And so one of my friends in camp, Mike Yancey, has been flintlock hunting, so I asked if we could borrow his flintlock. And we come out and was fortunate enough to get on him. But I want to say this to anybody that's thinking about coming to Africa. You've got to understand that the value of these animals is so important. And some might not understand that if you draw blood, you buy that animal. But the truth is, that's how it should be, because this animal is very valuable. It's what keeps the en environment that they live in healthy and safe. It's what keeps them healthy and safe. And so from my perspective, if I wound an animal, it is my obligation to that animal and the outfitter, not to speak of just the ethics of hunting, to do everything in my power to harvest that animal. I'm not ashamed to have taken him with a flintlock. In fact, I'm thrilled to have taken him with a flintlock. And not just any flintlock. The flintlock of a dear friend, Mike Yancey. In fact, he's building me one. Uh, and I'm looking forward to harvesting many more animals in the years to come. A great big thank you to Louie, Sofala Safaris. This is my final day of a 10-day hunt. And there couldn't be a better way to end it than with a big, beautiful... In Yala Bull. Hey, William and Evans was with me on this in Yala whenever I shot him with Mike Yancey's flintlock. Tell them what happened, William. Yeah, hey, those Yala's come down, boom. <laughs> <laughs> see, just see the, the smoky on my eyes. <laughs> we filled the air with smoke, folks, and he went down. <laughs>